we didn't get a chance to talk to you about that Pfizer news yesterday because it came after we spoke with you. As a board member at Pfizer, were you aware of those uh, results of the study before they came out, or did you find out just like the rest of us? No, the board had been briefed and on the results. Um, look, they were very encouraging. I, I'm careful not to talk on behalf of Pfizer, but they were very encouraging. And the company is very committed to this vaccine as well as um, trying to develop other therapeutics against COVID. Companies made a very big commitment to trying to develop this vaccine. The reason I ask is, is not to try and get too specific on what's happening with Pfizer, but just from your own perspective, because you have been concerned about the rise that we've seen recently, did what was announced yesterday with those results change your perspective over the longer term or the short term in terms of your level of concern about what's happening right now? Well, look, I think the results are consistent with the results we've seen from other vaccine constructs insofar as they indicate um, that it's possible to develop a vaccine against this virus. And that's what I've been saying for a while. Look, there's a long way to go. We have to put these vaccines in a lot of patients to make sure they're safe and effective and can actually prevent COVID disease. But we've now seen a number of vaccine constructs that, that demonstrate the ability to generate uh, immunogenicity, demonstrate the ability to generate neutralizing antibodies. So that's a very encouraging sign. It's an indication that we should be able to come up with a vaccine against this virus. And the other thing I would just say is, you know, Pfizer's in this, Merck is in it, Sanofi's in it, um, Johnson & Johnson is. So the four largest companies that manufacture vaccines are all trying to develop COVID vaccines. That should be very encouraging because developing a vaccine isn't just coming up with a construct that can demonstrate the ability to generate antibodies. It's doing all the hard work of scaling up manufacturing, developing the vaccine in a way that it can be put in large-scale manufacturing, producing the doses, distributing them. And that's something that the big vaccine players know how to do. And they're all in this game. They're all chasing it. They're all trying to develop vaccines. So I'm, I'm reasonably confident that we're going to get a vaccine, and hopefully more than one. Uh, I still think it's going to be a late 2020, early 2021 event before we really have something for widespread dis distribution. And I'll just say for a final point. We really need more than one manufacturer to be successful here. I would love to see Pfizer cross the finish line and have a successful vaccine, but we need more than one manufacturer to be able to have a successful vaccine and bring it to market because we have a big task uh, immunizing the entire world.